Hello and what up though? Thank you so much for tuning in to Detroit Brawl where we uncover and highlight world-class boxing that is occurring right here in Detroit and in the state of Michigan. My name is Ryan Nico and I have the honor and pleasure to be sitting right next to Clarissa the Gwoke Shields and we are going to talk about her upcoming bout February 5th in her UK debut. So, whoa, should we just hop right in, right? Let's go. All right, so you have a UK debut coming up, but you have all of these accolades. I mean, undisputed middleweight title, a unified WBC IBF super middleweight title. You hold the record for two and three weight world titles in the fewest fights. You have not one, but two Olympic gold medals and the list goes on. Do you feel like the quote has anything left to prove in um, boxing? I've never wanted to really prove anything but that I was a good fighter. You know, I wanted to prove that women belong in the sport of boxing. I never really, uh, it's not about like proving anything to anybody else. It was proven to myself. You know, I started boxing when I was 11 years old. I'm 26 now. And I just wanted to let people know that the passion that I have for boxing is real. And when you have real passion for something, you make a career out of it and you become great at it, and you don't listen to what people have to say about, say about you, you know, doubting you. You just do what your heart wanted to do, and that's just what I've been doing. So I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. I'm just doing what I love to do. That's right, and you say you've been doing it since you were 11 years old. Yeah. So when I first knew of the blow, you were Clarissa T-Rex Shields, right? <laughs> yeah. So do you think that the quote has taken over or does the T-Rex still dwell within? Well, T-Rex is always going to be a part of me. I just think it's, it's the elevation. You know, I think that it's levels. I think T-Rex was here, but I think the quote is here. You know, mentally, physically, um, emotionally, I think that me inside the ring, I was T-Rex, I go in there and I blast them out. But now it's like the quote, I'm going to go in there and I'm gonna I'm keep it cute, but I'm also gonna show the skill, I'm gonna show the power, and I'm still gonna show C-Rex, you know, but I don't, I don't think that I was showing my skill the way that I wanted to back when I was T-Rex. That's why I made it the quote, because I think I've definitely, uh, I've accomplished everything that I wanna accomplish, and I'm just that great. That's right. All right, I love the confidence. So, you have been training in Michigan, mm -hmm. in Detroit, Speaking of T-Rex and Predators, you've been in super bad gym. I saw you all post on your Instagram mm -hmm. how you were getting that work in. Like your hair went from silky smooth to sweat and wet. Uh -huh. So how has your experience been and can you elaborate on your training in Detroit and how it's impacted you for your upcoming bout? Yeah, so I've been training in Flint majority, but I've been coming to Detroit to get the sparring. And um, Justin Flynn, I've been at my boyfriend gym back up at Fitness Gym. I've been building some different kind of strength for the past two months now, as far as in the squats, the squats, the benching, uh, everything. You know, I've just been making my body be strong all together for the last two months there. And then now that it's getting closer to the fight, last week we started sparring. So sparring up in Detroit about Super Bad, man, they got some great fighters there. And they're young and they're hungry. And, uh, and they want to learn and they want to work. And those guys are tough, you know, and I always, and I like going to a gym where, yeah, okay, uh, I'm a woman, but I'm a fighter. I'm a world, I'm a 12 time world champion. Do not get in here and play with me. Right. So the guys up at the Super Bad Gym um, know that already, you know, with LJ being down there and, you know, Tony Harris and Lilla, all their fighters know, like, hey, take it very, very serious. Like, I know usually when you spar against girls, you probably gotta take it easy on them, but her, like, show her what you got. And I've, and I've been able to get some 13 rounds total right now. We have some more sparring this week before we head out to Vegas. But um, it's been great down there. And I'm happy that Tony, uh, Tony Harrison opened up his gym to me because it reminds me of the amateurs where it's a gym full of fighters and everybody want to dream. Everybody got a, got a dream that they want to accomplish and goals. And they're asking me how they can get to them. And I, and I got the recipe because I've, right. I've not only won the Olympics once, but two times. All right, I love it. Yes, yeah. the energy just screams indestructible. So it just seems like whatever whatever endeavor you decide to do, like, it's going to be great. I so. believe that 
Yes, well, I thank you so much for taking yep. the time out to talk to us. Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Brawl. If you like what we got going on, please like, subscribe, comment, and make sure you tune in on Saturday, February 5th, as Clarissa the Quote Shields turns it up in the UK for her debut on pay-per-view.com, fighttv.com. Don't miss it. Be there or be square. <laughs>